Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I create super quick color palettes in Adobe Illustrator utilizing Adobe's color website. So sometimes you just need a really great color palette really quick. Um, so I have a really great tip for you. So I'm going to show you exactly how I make these. You probably, if you've seen any of my tutorials before, you know that I always have a preset color palette ready to go so I can eyedropper colors as I'm working. So I'm going to show you exactly how I make these and where I get my inspiration for many of the color palettes that I use. So I actually use color.adobe.com and when you go to that website you will arrive here. This is what you'll see and you will if you're an Adobe Creative Cloud subscriber you'll want to log in because it'll save any of the color palettes that you choose and then you can import those directly into Adobe Illustrator which I'm going to show you how to do. If you are not an Adobe Creative Cloud subscriber you can still use the tool you can find really great color palettes but you'll have to input those color builds manually you won't be able to automatically bring them into Illustrator. So a little bit more work but you can still totally use it and I've done that plenty of times in the past. So once you're here it doesn't really look like much but all the good stuff happens once you hit explore right here so just hit that and you can come to right here and choose most popular and you can toggle through and find um, color palettes this way. I really like coming over here and choosing most popular. Okay, so let's say I am looking for some rustic color palettes. So I can go rustic right here and it'll bring up a whole bunch of different color palettes that are themed rustic or that have been named rustic in the past and I can kind of toggle through here and find one that I like or that is close to perfect that I just have a few edits that I would like to make to it. So I really like this one right here, this rustic wedding. So once I find one that I like, I can either immediately save it to my library or I can do a little bit of editing. Like I think this color right here, the second color is a little too orange for me. So if I hit edit copy, I can come in here and I can change any of the colors to my specifications before bringing it into Illustrator, which is really handy. And I can come through and toggle through the different color modes as well, which is really nice. So this is the color that I want to change. So I can just select it right here and you can see it will select it right up here in my color wheel and I can toggle it here. I can also input different colors right here directly into the editor, which is really nice. So once I find a color that I like, um, like this one is much less orange, and now I'm really happy with that. Now I'm ready to bring it into Illustrator. So all I have to do is hit save right here, and now I can title it. If I don't want this to be called Rustic Wedding, I can just call it Rustic and then whatever my project name is. Um, I can add tags to it. So if I have a bunch of different rustic color palettes that I want to check on later, um, I can search through my own color palettes much easier if I use tags. I don't like publishing my themes to explore, um, but if you want to make your color palettes publicly available, just make sure you keep this checked. So I definitely want to choose my library right here. And when I'm totally happy with everything, all I have to do is hit save. And then from here, we can hop into Illustrator. And then what you want to do is you want to go window libraries and this will pop up and you can see our rustic color palette is automatically here if you're an Adobe Creative Cloud subscriber. If not, you're just gonna have to write down those different color builds so then you can bring them in here. So the next thing you wanna do is add these to your swatches. So all you have to do is right click and choose add to swatches and then you can close out of this. And you can see if you open up your swatches over here, you can also get to it by going window swatches and it'll pop open. And you can see we've got a folder right here with all of our colors right there. So all I need to do is come over here and grab my ellipse tool and then I'm going to hold shift to keep it a perfect circle and drag out a circle and I do not want to stroke on this so I'm going to come over here and then just hit this none button right here and that'll get rid of my stroke so now I just have a color fill but I can't see it at all so I'm going to hit I on my keyboard and just select another color or you can adjust a color over here and what I usually do is I duplicate this a bunch of times and then I recolor them all at once. So with your circle selected, hold Alt, click, and as you're dragging, hold Shift and it'll keep it straight. And then you can select both of these, hold Alt, click, and as you're dragging, hold Shift to keep it straight. And then I can just do it one more time, 
Alt, click, drag, hold shift to keep it straight. And now these ones are not evenly distributed. So I can select all of these and then just come up here and choose this horizontal distribute center and it will evenly distribute all of these. So now they're evenly spaced. And in order to color these, I just select one, come over here to my color swatches my swatch palette and then I can just click on the color over here and then I'll turn it to brown so then I click on my next circle and I can just go through and color all of these and then they're good to go for whatever project I need them for so then I can scale them down or scale them up I like scaling mine down and having them kind of in the corner so then I can just eyedropper them as I need them for the different design elements that I'm working with so that is how to create super quick color palettes in Adobe Illustrator by utilizing the Adobe color website if you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday and don't forget to head on over to my blog every high Tuesday.com for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.